Sultry is a Nigerian company making starch from cassava roots for Nigerian breweries. With its growing business, Pesultry is increasingly relying on sourcing cassava through its outgrowers scheme. Nigerian Breweries, together with Heineken, is the largest brewing company in Nigeria and sources starch-based raw material locally to replace imported sugar and maltose for its brewing process. This film shows how, to scale, one of the largest agribusiness incubator programs in sub-Saharan Africa has brought together these companies within a public-private partnership to the benefit and empowerment of thousands of farmers and other local business actors. The prologue of the film introduces the companies and their business models and goals, characterized by an outspoken drive to locally source raw material and combine business with local development. We've set ourselves the goal of sourcing 60% of our agricultural raw materials within Africa, for Africa, by 2020. We believe that way we can improve entrepreneurship in Nigeria, empower the rural people. Even though producing starch was our major dream, we still felt that we could do business while we are still helping the poor. And that was the reason why citing the factory in a 100% rural environment was key and it was part of the business model. Such business models are clearly in line with Two Scales' inclusive business agenda. So when we discovered that all these things are having a sort of common ground, the need to sign an MOU which involved the public sector and the private sector came into play. Part two of the film further details the functioning of the companies and their business models, the outgrowers scheme and sourcing of cassava roots, the starch producing process, quantities and the quality of the starch. Usually the purity is around 99 point something percent. The starch is very white. When you see it, you fall in love with it. In the beginning, Sultry provided most inputs like stems, herbicides and fertilizer and tractor services to the cassava growers. But it was not possible to continue like this and expand the business. We started 150 farmers, we grew to 450 farmers, we grew to 500 farmers. By the time we got to 500 farmers, we had a queue of about 2,000 farmers who were willing to enter the loop of our agrars and we could not reach because we didn't have the capacity to do that. And it was at that point that Nigerian breweries brought two scale to us to help us with these farmers. And that's one of the most wonderful turning points of uh, this business. Part 3 is the main body of the film and about two scales interventions as a public service within this agribusiness setting. To scale introduces different types of technical improvements that contribute to increasing cassava productivity and reducing production costs. To increase cassava productivity we are introducing good agronomic practices, new improved varieties give them good and better yield. We are teaching farmers on how and when to apply fertilizer on cassava. So the whole essence is to ensure that we have a competitive market. Introducing technological improvements like cassava varieties with higher starch contents, better planting techniques and improved crop management are however not enough. We discover that it is not only technical innovations alone that they need, they also need organizational structure. Most of these groups, they only exist on paper. Organizational innovations relate to local level networking and empowering and trust building. To scale has therefore set up a capacity strengthening program for the Sultry Extension staff running as agribusiness coaches for farmers and other local actors within cassava clusters. The capacity strengthening program is uh, implemented by using the learning cycle approach. The coaching, in fact, is the most important aspect of the learning cycle because it is there that actions are taken. We realized that there is a common, a very burning issue on ground, and that is the issue of business relationship with the transporters. The transporters are in group, they are strong, and we believe they cheat us. 
coaching sessions supported by the two scale trainer mentors have resulted in concrete changes that have proven a positive substantial impact on the business and cost structure of cassava roots all the way to the factory gate. As a result of the several discussions with the farmers organized by the coach, we agreed on payment pattern on the condition that we will effectively see the real weights and that is what Saltry has done and also we are now paid instantly. Although the immediate burning issue was treated, it was realised other issues between farmers and transporters could crop up and so something more structural had to be put in place. We realised that something long term should be in place and we decided to have a farmers transporters committee. We have all the committees at each cluster level, then we have a central committee that is a committee for all the clusters together. Farmers realised that transporters are a strong group and if they really want to be able to negotiate, they have to become strong too. Farmers began to realise that, wow, if we come together, we do better, achieve better, more efficiently at lower costs. Using their farmers organization as the negotiation power to be able to get their chemicals in bulk, fertilizers in bulk. As the chairman of seen all the clusters, I follow each of them, making sure that our agreements are being implemented and seeing what the issues are. Nothing will stop us now. Some of the sultry coaches are now beginning to have farmer coaches by their side. Someone like an assistant. Okay. I'd like to take over from John now and then because he helps me to gain a lot by training other farmers. I have my antennas everywhere and I'm respected. Through negotiations with the First City Monument Bank, the Sultry Outgrowers Association has obtained substantial reduction of the annual interest rate on agricultural loans from 24% down to 9%. The epilogue of the film presents some of the preliminary impacts in terms of changes in the livelihoods of the rural communities. The very top on the agenda is to improve the rural livelihood of uh, cassava farmers. Because of my relationship, what I don't get with Sotre, now my daughter is in school. After reviewing the key factors of this success story, the film ends by presenting the potential for scaling up this model. Step one is scale within Nigeria, step two to scale within more uh, widely within Africa, and step three is a uh, global uh, takeover of, uh, of this way of harnessing cassava as a value chain.